how are you we have passed a very 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 crucial condition and very crucial situation but we hope we can overtake it very soon now today i discuss with you about the chemical properties of alcohol you know alcohol has a oh group right because alcohol has a functional group and the functional group of alcohol is oh for the presence of this oh group alcohol is dissolved in water and you must be reminded that alcohol is used as solvent also now come to the chemical properties of alcohol first of all we start from this one we prepare ethene from ethanol when ethanol reacts with sulfuric acid at 100 degrees celsius temperature then it forms ethyl hydrogen sulfate this ethyl hydrogen sulfate at 170 degrees celsius temperature prepared ethene by releasing h2so4 come to the second properties we prepare diethyl ether from ethanol so when ethanol reacts with sulfuric acid at 100 degrees celsius temperature it forms ethyl hydrogen sulfate which reacts with excess ethanol i repeat again which reacts with excess ethanol at 140 degrees celsius temperature and produce diethyl ether so there is a mcq question also just look at the previous reaction here it is 100 degrees celsius ethyl hydrogen sulfate but 170 degrees celsius temperature it converts to ethene and in second one at 140 degrees celsius temperature in presence of excess ethanol it converts to diethyl ether so you must remind these two temperature first one is 140 it converts to diethyl ether then 170 it converts to ethene i repeat again at 140 it converts to diethyl ether and 170 it converts to ethene now come to the third properties ethyl iodide from ethanol when ethanol reacts with hydrogen iodide then it forms ethyl iodide now i discuss with you about the difference between primary secondary and tertiary alcohol now i discuss with you about the difference between 1 degree 2 degree and 3 degree alcohol first of all by using lucas reagent so you have a question what is lucas reagent mixture of concentrated hcl and anhydrous zinc chloride is known as lucas reagent when you use lucas reagent then for tertiary or 3 degree alcohol when i use lucas reagent then in standby it gives white precipitate you have noted that here this h and oh is replaced by water that means this chloride this chloride replaces this oh now for secondary alcohol you have seen that when i add lucas reagent in between 5 to 10 minutes it forms white precipitate here the precipitate of 2 chloropropane but for primary you have seen that when i use ethanol then in lucas reagent in presence of lucas reagent at normal temperature it does not work but when i apply heat then it creates a turbid solution of ethyl chloride so i think you have a question why these things are happened actually the reason is though we use same reagent in this three alcohol but the fact is here tertiary carbocation is formed but here secondary carbocation and here primary carbocation you know tertiary carbocation or 3 degree carbocation is more stable than secondary and primary that's why it instantly form tertiary carbocation that means this three reaction is nucleophilic substitution reaction as this nucleophilic substitution reaction as the stability of 3 degree or tertiary carbocation is more than secondary and primary so it instantly form tertiary carbocation with whom chloride ion is joined and form white precipitate as the stability of secondary carbocation is less than tertiary so it takes 5 to 10 minutes but 
the stability of primary carbocation is less than tertiary and secondary. That's why it does not form carbocation easily. But when you apply heat, it may be formed this carbocation, primary carbocation with whom this chloride ion is joined and form turbid solution. Now I give you the difference between 1 degree, 2 degree and 3 degree alcohol by oxidation. Now I give you the difference between primary, secondary and tertiary alcohol by oxidation reaction. Here potassium dichromate and sulfuric acid used as oxidizing agent. These two produces this nascent oxygen which oxidized the alcohol. You know here I have taken for primary alcohol I have taken ethanol. When ethanol is oxidized it converts to ethanol which again oxidized and converts to ethanoic acid. Just calculate the carbon number. In primary alcohol, that means in ethanol, here two carbon is present. In ethanol, two carbon is present. And ethanoic acid, two carbon is present. That means carbon number is not changed in oxidation reaction of primary alcohol. Come to the secondary alcohol. When we oxidize this secondary alcohol, we have taken propanol 2. Then it converts to propanone, which again oxidized and converts to ethanoic acid. Just count the carbon. So, in uh, propanol 2, there are 1, 2, 3 carbon. But in propanol, there are also 3 carbon. That means carbon number remains same here. But after that, in ethanoic acid, there are only 2 carbon. So, carbon number is decreased when propanol 2 is oxidized finally. Come to the tertiary alcohol. Here I have taken 2 methyl propanol 2. When it oxidized, it converts to propanone, which again oxidized and converts to ethanoic acid, water and carbon dioxide. So, I again calculate the carbon number. In 2 methyl propanol 2, I have seen 1, 2, 3, 4 carbon. But in propanone, I have seen 3 carbon. In ethanoic acid, I have seen 2 carbon. That means carbon number is gradually decreases when it oxidizes tertiary alcohol. Another thing is when primary alcohol is oxidized, it converts to aldehyde. But when secondary and tertiary alcohol is oxidized, it converts to ketone. You must remind this for your creative question that primary alcohol oxidized converts to aldehyde. But secondary and tertiary alcohol when oxidized, they converts to ketone. Now I give you the identification of alcohol. I discuss with you the identification of alcohol. How can we identify it? First one by using metallic sodium. When alcohol reacts with sodium then it produces hydrogen gas. By this hydrogen gas we can identify that alcohol is present in that solution. Number two by phosphorus pentachloride. When alcohol reacts with phosphorus pentachloride, then it create, then it produces hydrochloric acid, which reacts with ammonia and produces the white fume of ammonium chloride. I repeat again, white fume. By seeing this white fume, we can identify that alcohol is present here. Third one is the special identification because this is for methanol. When methanol reacts with salicylic acid in presence of sulfuric acid, then it forms methyl salicylate. It has a special fragrance. This is of iodex. By this fragrance, we can identify that methanol is present in this solution. So, this is all about alcohol. Now, I discuss with you a creative question. Now, I discuss with you a creative question. You have seen the question is CH3MGX. In my previous class, I have told that this is Grignard reagent. HCHO, H2O, in H plus, that means in acidic medium, it is hydrolyzed, then it forms X. CH3CHO, it forms Y. CH3COCH3Z. X is again oxidized, form P. Y is again oxidized and form Q. The question is, number C, write difference between X, Y and Z. Number D, between P and Q, which one is more reactive in nucleophilic addition reaction? Analyze. So, I think you can solve it, but I give you a hint. You have seen that here ACHO, that means methanol is present. This is done. Another name of this methanol is formaldehyde. You must remind that. 
when brickna reagent reacts with methanol or formaldehyde then the product will be primary alcohol rest of the aldehyde when reacts with brickna reagent then it forms secondary alcohol right now so this is this x must be primary alcohol as it is ethanol so y will be secondary alcohol and as this is ketone z will be tertiary alcohol and in my today class you have seen that when x is oxidized primary alcohol then it converts to aldehyde when y is oxidized it converts to ketone so you can write the difference between x y z by using lucas reagent or by oxidation and between p and q which one is more reactive this one is also discussed in your aldehyde ketone class so today i finish my class stay home remain safe